All right, so let's talk about it now. We're done with WrestleMania 6. We've touched on it in a previous podcast. Hogan takes the Warrior of the Belt, even after the ref tries to. Hogan corrects that, takes him the belt, rides off in the cart. Big moment, big fireworks display. He's the man now. You guys go back to programming him with Rude, from what I remember, and they work at SummerSlam that year in 1990. Is that, am I remembering that correct? Yeah, that's right. What was, what did Rude think about working with, warrior it feels like rude would have been prime for a top spot for a title run in this time but that decision is not made not, come on a lot of guys can be prime for title runs because you like him well, he should be champion or he's but i am not a big fan of flip-flopping titles all over the place and i liked longevity in champions so again everybody can be a t- contender if you have a point where you have a lot of top guys that's great but i don't know that rick was ever discussed being the champion rick rude but rick was a great guy a great character in and out of the ring to program the warrior with they had history from earlier Intercontinental. when they yep when warrior first came in and rude had been gone for a while at this point as well why and was Rude gone there i was just taking a break so now, I guess the reason I said that about Rude working with Warrior is, I think in various interviews over the years before he passed away, he attributed him wanting to go to WCW to not getting a title shot when he was in that position, being, quote-unquote, forced to work with Warrior, which would have been on top, so I don't know why you'd be upset about that, and then having to put him over. But you don't have any recollection of Rude necessarily having an issue with that? No, and I did all the vignettes with Rick leading up to it ahead of Warrior even winning the title. We had already done the training vignettes and all that stuff for Rick. Rick was prepared and excited, and I thought Rick did a great job. There were times of frustration with Rick during the program just because Rick was put in that position to help Warrior and teach him more and grow more, and there might have been perceived resistance on on Rick's part towards Warrior. So let's talk about when we're talking about the Ultimate Warrior here. One of the things that I think about is that SummerSlam match with Rude in the Big Blue Cage. And I don't know why, but that match is one of the Big Blue Cage matches that really stick out to me. That's not the typical wrestling cage. For, and they were using that before you got there, I think, with King Kong Bundy and stuff like that. What was your thoughts on the Big Blue Cage and kind of share the psychology behind what made it, or what made that the right call for a cage for WWF? Okay, I'm going to be negative again here, Conrad. I hated the big blue cage. It, I thought it was ugly. I thought that it was very difficult, made it very difficult for talent to work with. It was unforgiving as hell. The concept behind the big blue cage, and before that it was black or steel or whatever the hell it was, was for Bruno and the Sheik. So they could climb over it. And the concept to me, I grew up in the South. I grew up in Texas. A cage match was a blow off. Right. Cage match is when you and every other match that there was to have. This is the final stand. match is inside of a cage. Nobody in, nobody out. We're going to settle this thing and only one guy is walking out of the cage. And that's what you did. You had a blow off. You had a definitive final and that was usually in a cage. When it got to that point, by God, you knew you were getting a winner and you knew you were getting a loser. In the Northeast, they had this rule of the winner of a cage match is the first man to escape. To me, that's counterproductive to why you want a cage. You want a cage to keep people in and keep people out, not to get out of. Right. Is a heel, you would want to get out of the cage but as a baby face you would want to keep the guy in there and punish him and beat the hell out of him until you have a definitive winner so psychology wise i never understood the escape thing with the cage but the original as i've asked the question way long time ago same question you asked is i don't get i don't get it why do that was bruno and the original chic it was easier for them to climb and to get out of, and you didn't have to have a finish. 